Every day we're thinking about how can we think sustainability into our policies and the things that we do in the city. As mayors, uh, we have a big responsibility when it comes to not only make urban planning in a way that is uh, people-friendly, but also to make sure that it happens even more sustainable. Our greatest aim is to become carbon neutral in the upcoming years, and we try to be even more deliberative when it comes to involving citizens in the, in the, in the city planning and in the urban planning. And we also like to work together with the, with the private companies it is something that is uniquely Danish and uniquely for Copenhagen that we always go together and see, is this something that we could do on our own municipality? Well, that's great, but if we could do it together with others, universities, um, the companies, uh, the people itself, then it's even better. There is a sense of um, uh, shared responsibility when it comes to developing the city in this way. In that sense, that is the way that we make innovation and that is the way that we make um, like a power plant for, to, a ski, to a ski slope and uh, how we make sure that you can go skating and at the same time collect water <laughs> and, um, and making parks even more greener because they also fulfill the whole idea of climate adaption. And that is the, the aim of our city and also the legacy of architecture. We use architecture and urban planning to make sure the city is for people not only when they're inside, but also when they are outside. And uh, one of the things that you can do to experience that is uh, go on your bike. When you go through Copenhagen on a bike, you experience how we have uh, democratized the harbor so everybody can get close to the sea. You experience how we have made sure with bike paths that you can go around in a safe way. Um, and we, you can see uh, around the city how we have made room for children to play and and for people to unfold their lives, unleash their lives, uh, not only inside when it's cold, but also outside when it's possible. For 2023 and the World Congress, I hope that many people will come, both experts and, and people who work in every day with urban planning or architecture, people who can inspire us to build even more green, to do renovation more uh, social responsible, uh, to make sure that we build for the future and we do it in the way that is the utmost when we, and we go ahead. So we hope to inspire people who get here, but we also hope to get inspired back.